we're, we're gonna go into episode 4 of my only 12%. Not much to add at this point, it's still incredibly sweet, no? Too many likeable characters, let's just go into it. See how we get on. <laughs> Are you listening to spooky stories? <laughs> actually scared me. My mouse was on the screen too. <laughs> oh, he's already scared of going to the restroom. Good friends, no? I really like the friends. They're great. Look at him holding on to Fee's sleeve. Way too cute. Bye, Fee. <laughs> Good friend. He literally just walked you back to where you were sleeping. That's so sweet, no? Good friend, though. <laughs> and then there's the other friendship group. You always put other people first, yeah. <laughs> I relate to him so much. He kind of comes across like even just existing is a burden to other people, no? And considering I feel like that most of the time, I relate to him a whole bunch. I wish I had someone like Cake in my life though, to get me through my early years as an introvert. I could have done with a friend like that. <laughs> They really don't care what other people think, do they? It's so sweet. I love their dynamic, I love their friendship so much. I like Cake a lot. He's re when he is attentive, he's really good at it, no? Really good at taking care of him. Too wholesome, though. <laughs> I like those moments a lot where you see exactly how much Cake cares about you as well and will take care of him. Because we're kind of struggling at the moment, right? With his like. He kind of wavers and is a little bit inattentive sometimes to the point where he is like saying his name over and over and he doesn't even realize. So he can be really inattentive sometimes as well. Um, but when he has moments like that, it's just so sweet, no? And you realize how much he cares about him. It's so nice. 
It's not like one person in the friendship is being taken advantage of or anything like that. They both like genuinely care about each other and want to take care of each other in their own way. I've got to rein it in with the, with the supporting characters. I've got to rein it in. <laughs> Who's going to fall in? <laughs> Take your bets. <laughs> we must stay focused on the main characters. Stop getting attached to side characters. It doesn't help when he's so likeable, no? He literally made sure that Cake was behind Ew so that Ew had, like, someone he trusted on each side. He's such a nice character. Who was that that did that? Was that Peek or Pan? I could never tell. It's one of his friends, right? It was very sweet that he did, though, though. That's bestie behaviour right there, right? Your bestie's in an embarrassing situation and they're feeling embarrassed, so you put yourself in the same situation. That's real bestie behaviour. Oh, sweet. We're seeing a lot of Cake being a really good friend. Which is probably leading up to him not being a good friend. <laughs> the phone is in his hands. <laughs> probably talking to Rin. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> he can tell something's up, right? He just doesn't know what it is. Mm. It's tough because I. <laughs> he's not doing anything wrong. And he doesn't know what he's done to upset him, but he knows that something's going on, right? It's kind of tough. What's the plan, Stan? Like, for real? You can't just be miserable forever. Hmm. Sometimes you don't act like it. <laughs> Sometimes he has to say your name five times before you even know he's in the same room as you. But that's incredibly sweet. Where's Pran? Where's Pao? Is Pao here? It's kind of lacking in energy, no? Hmm. 
Yeah, he's really lacking in energy. Mm. Excuse me, ma'am, where's your eldest son right now? <laughs> can I can I see him please? Feeling a bit deflated. Best he not paying too much attention to you right now. Although did pay quite a lot of attention to him actually on the trip, right? And did was very kind, had some kind gestures. On oh, MSN again. I am gonna hear him saying cake in my dreams tonight. He has to say your name so many times. Mm. Oh, I love these moments so much. See, when he's attentive to you, he's really attentive, no? That's so sweet. He's just a bit inconsistent with it when other people are involved. Tell them why. Communicate. You can do it. Hmm. Hmm. Considering he's always joking and pranking and like messing around and stuff, he really knows when to be sincere and give a serious answer, right? And be reassuring. It's really sweet when he's like this. And I'm not saying he has to be like this all the time. I'm just saying like when he's distracted by other people, he's completely the other end of the scale, right? Where he just like ignores ill completely. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> 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 oh dear. The consequences of your actions. <laughs> he doesn't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Okay. 
Which friend is this? Is this peak or palm? <laughs> I don't... That doesn't look like a project. You guys are terrible at this. I'm starting to get why you get so frustrated with the homework situation. Do your damn homework. เออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออ
ันไม่เบื่อหรอไม่ต้องรอแล้วป่ะบ้านอิวอ่ะกั้งก็อยู่ใกล้กันนิดเดียวอ่ะช่วงนี้ให้กั้งพากลับดิThe difficulty is that Cake's routine has changed now, right? But his hasn't. He's still like doing the same thing. That conversation shows a lot, no? He's been so dependent on Cake that he's just never gone home by himself before. And the fact that he's like kept his routine the same, waiting for Cake, even though Cake's routine has obviously changed. And he's like a lot later these days. It's kind of sad. It's definitely not healthy to sit around for an hour waiting for someone. Have they ever even texted or called each other? I feel like they haven't. It's always really sweet when Cake does that, no? He did the same thing with the food. He's always willing to sacrifice something on his end if, uh, like, Eel doesn't get to have it or doesn't get to go. He doesn't want it either. <laughs> We're missing a friend, right? We're missing either Peak or Palm, I just don't know which. Okay, that's the one that has a crush on her. Where's the other one? We've cake tar unnamed crush person and the missing one. <laughs> Go 
Come on, rein it in. You must stay focused. My goodness. <laughs> Peak is the one that has a crush on Hom. Palm is the one that is missing. Peak crush. They ain't gonna make them a side couple. He's like 15, no? I swear that... It looks like we've got some sibling bonding moments coming up, but... I... <laughs> it's the wrong sibling. I wanna see Prem. I swear someone commented on like one of my videos for this saying that they're meant to be like 15 or 16 at this stage, no? And she's in university. That's a side couple I cannot get on board with if that's where this is going. I'm hoping it's just going to be like a one-sided crush. Kind of how you get when you're like a teenager or something. <laughs> Even the friends are like, what the fuck are you doing? Hey, thank you. You're a good I'm going to Cake's face. <laughs> yeah, I don't... <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> it's sweet that he's so enamoured, but <laughs> I don't know about that one. แล้วมีกิจกรรมมานอนบ้านมั้ยของคนอ่ะคุณยูไม่ได้พาเรามาวันนี้วัดช่วงรายงานเดือนมากไม่ใช่เลยด้วยวันนี้ปอแค่กล
sibling bonding time. That's sweet. <laughs> Are they watching a BL? There you are. Did she know that when she put it on? Uh oh. <laughs> She's watching his reaction. Did she know that it was a BL when she put it on? Oh, honey. Is he starting to figure out some feelings? I'm trying to work out if she's just surprised that that's what the romance turned into and is kind of just a bit embarrassed about it or whether or not she put that on on purpose because she... Yeah. That reaction kind of confirms it. Now I think she knew that it was got some stuff going on with Kate. Oh, not the crying. Oh, please, not the crying. It was very bright after such a dark scene. <laughs> yeah, new friend though. Uh oh. <laughs> That's cute. Oh god. He is, he figured out his feelings for sure, which is gonna make all the cuddling and stuff a bit more problematic, no? Because he's gonna completely change his view on all of that and what that means lord it all just just this so bright just get me back to something dark maybe not the crying actually probably the crying because i want to talk about the crying real quick and then we're going to talk about the sister and then we're going to talk about the preview <laughs> in that order this his body language i might be overthinking it but he kind of comes across like he's a little bit Oh, that sounds really mean to say disgusted, but um, uncomfy in his own skin, no? I feel like the effect of seeing that movie was so bright. <laughs> the effect of seeing that movie was that he realised that maybe the jealousy and stuff that he's been feeling is on a romantic level, and maybe he does have feelings for Kate. And the the whole, the way he was acting in the scene while he was crying kind of made it seem like he felt a little bit grossed out by himself and his own feelings, no? Like he's he's obviously very uncomfy with how the, the feelings that he is discovering about himself. And I think that's probably why he's struggling so much in the preview. <laughs> I don't know. But he's definitely realising that he's either already got feelings for Cake or he is starting to get feelings for Cake, no? On a romantic level. It's definitely happening. That that movie triggered that. Regarding the sister, 
I thought that maybe, because <laughs> she looked quite shocked too, I thought maybe she didn't realise what the genre was. And uh, she was a little bit kind of surprised about it. But she kept looking at Eel's reaction. And then after he left, she kind of had a like... Just her reaction was like... She really tried to do something here, but it didn't work out the way she wanted it to. This, right? I think she was trying something with this movie. Maybe she can tell that Ew has feelings for Cake. Maybe she just... She knows that there's something going on with her brother. And and she's kind of guessing that, even if it's not to do with Cake, maybe she's guessing that he's um, having these kind of thoughts about his sexuality. I don't know. But it feels like she knew what the genre was and she put it on and she was watching to see how you reacted to it, no? Um, and unfortunately, it resulted in all of this, which is probably not what she wanted. Well, thank goodness I made it through. I'm sure he'll cry again. I mean, we see in the preview he does, right? But I made it through the first mini Earth crying scene without crying. It's awful. I get a lump in my throat immediately. Like, he's such a... There's something about his crying that just gets to me straight to my heart. My goodness. But I think I was so, like trying to analyze his body language here like his body language was very obviously conveying something that it kind of helped distract me a little bit from the emotion of it now the preview is cake gonna get jealous of sand kind of looks that way no you is a little bit frosty we're gonna see more kung being the sweetest friend and this by the way let's put the sound on for this <laughs> Kung being a good friend again, very attentive again. <laughs> That's cute because <laughs> they timed the music perfectly, no? <laughs> I don't know, I liked it. And then this is just sad. It's nice that he's confiding in her though, which is probably what she was hoping to gain from all of this. Difficult situation. I mean, kudos to the sister for seeing that something's going on and trying to do something about it. I don't, I don't, I don't know if this was necessarily the way to go, but it definitely looks like he was starting to realise some feelings, right? And I did say he would be the first one. He had to be with these feelings of jealousy and not wanting to share your friend and stuff if anything's going to make you realize romantic feelings it's going to be something like that right yeah so she did do it on purpose or, or at least that's what other people are saying as the older sister she could see through her brother's anxiety she chose that movie which meant she wanted her brother to have the possibility of knowing that this exists interesting I can relate to you and how much I can feel this pain. The hand movements, the disgust about yourself. I I didn't want to call it disgust because that sounded a bit strong, especially if I was wrong about it. But someone else is saying it too. But that's the kind of body language he was conveying, no? Panicking after realising his true feelings. So heartbreaking to see how he realises his feelings, but the first thing he thinks is that it's wrong. Yep, that's definitely how it came across, right? He he did not have a good reaction to realising that that's what his feelings were. And it's definitely... <laughs> that's one way of summing it up. Um, it's definitely going to be problematic for like when they cuddle in bed and stuff now, no? Because once you realise you have romantic feelings for someone, that completely changes that dynamic and how he's going to view that. Like, it, it's not just going to be as simple as like, it's platonic switching your mind off kind of thing. He's probably going to start overthinking like every single thing between them. 
Well, I don't know. So, that was episode four. We we had a new character. We had Sand, who seems to be another introvert. He walked past you several times, <laughs> apparently, before sitting down and talking to him. Doesn't really talk to many people, doesn't have many friends. And they were both able to kind of relax and open up to each other and chill out and laugh and have fun. So that was kind of sweet. Fee and Kung are still my faves. What besties, honestly. Good friendship triangle. I mean, technically these two are the besties, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and we definitely saw, especially at the camp, we saw again a lot of Cake taking care of you, right? From the activities during the daytime, jumping into the water with him and stuff like that, to the cuddles at night time, not caring that his friends might say or think something. He doesn't care. He just like cuddles up to him and strokes his hair and makes him feel better. And then here, the sincerity when he was asking, like, am I still important to you? When he normally kind of jokes around and smiles and says um, kind of joking things, he he knows when to be sincere and reassuring as well. So that was really sweet. I really love those moments a lot. Um, and it normally happens when they're in bed. <laughs> at night time those are the moments that i really love um because that's when they're really kind of sincere with each other and kind of comforting i know i like it a whole bunch i really do <laughs> my throat is a bit sore from watching the crying but now it looks like we've got more tears coming up next episode and potential jealousy on cake's side that would be interesting though because he's seen you with Fi and Kung, but he doesn't really laugh and mess around with them and stuff the way he does with Cake. It's like a different dynamic, right? But when he was sitting with Sand right here and talking, they were laughing and stuff really openly and, and kind of chilling, kind of in the same way that he does with Cake sometimes. So I don't think Cake is going to be used to seeing him with someone new that makes him laugh like that. So that'll be interesting as well. Because I'm guessing at some point Cake has to have his moment where he realises it. It's probably not going to be very soon because otherwise that would be too simple, right? There's got to be other stuff going on. We're, they've got to drag out the Rin situation and and kind of, I know there's going to be a time jump somewhere. <laughs> So there's there's all of that to get through, but at some point Cake has to have his epiphany as well. That that maybe, you know, he doesn't just want to be besties. I don't know. I like the siblings a lot too. I mean, <laughs> obviously I have a favorite, <laughs> but the siblings are nice too. Hom seems really sweet. Oh yeah, and Peek has got a thing for Hom, which again. You know, I I swear it, it it's quite common, right? As a trope for like when you're kids and stuff, you have a crush on like your sibling's friend or your best friend's sibling. That's they're like the two that normally happen. Um, so it it's not unusual for a teenage boy to have a crush on like his one of his friend's sisters or his friend's bestie's sister. It's not that unusual. <laughs> I just don't want it to be a pairing because <laughs> he's like 15 it's very weird no um, but in terms of like showing kind of childhood growing up tropes I feel like that's quite normal so that he would be enamoured with her so that is it for uh, episode 4 I'm going to pick up episode 5 when I can I can't do it tonight unfortunately because I'm working tomorrow um, but I will pick up episode five when I can and I will carry on and we'll see how things develop now that <laughs> we've got some feelings developing and we'll, we'll see how that goes. All right, that's it. Bye.